right now let's come back and start with your first trends that is your general trends in your physical property as well as at, uh, atomic uh, properties basically your atomic radius ionic radius of your group 15 element okay let's start with p block element with the first trends so whenever we speaking about general trends right so basically questions are directly asked from this okay, first reasoning questions as i said let's see how to remember those suppose when i speak about group 15 elements in group 15 we have a common these are the set of elements just see nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth nobody will ask you what are the elements what is its electronic configuration right remember that we are in grade 12 let us not go to the lower standards and learn so simple so group 15 element when i say it, nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth that comes under group 15 first important concept is electronic configuration so when i have to learn the electronic configuration general trend what are you seeing the, suppose if i take this as principal quantum number ns so general configuration when you see here it is ns2 and when I take instead of 2 here because it is 2, 3, 4 like that, I change, make it general. So, general electronic configuration is NS2, NP3. Done. So, you see NS2, NP3, NS2, NP3, NS2, NP3. General configuration because whichever is common. Here, this is common. Here, this is common. This is common. This is common. This is common. NS2, NP3. Further, when I go down, it will enter into the D uh, subshell. Then we call it as uh, 3D10, 4D10 or 5D10. So, whenever I write, I am going to write first general electronic configuration. Means it is basically NS2, NP3. I am not writing D till now. Okay, because it is a P block element, I am finishing it off with NS2 and NP3. Done. Suppose if I have to come back and speak about different concepts like see remember one important logic in this what should you remember most is first as soon as you are learning this try to make a table like this first table try to make it a decreasing order second table try to make it increasing so what what are the trends which are decreasing <coughs> your ionization enthalpy and electronegativity will decrease down the group i'm speaking about down the group only we'll be studying in groups only group 14 group 15 group 16 no nothing about the periods so in group uh, 15 down the group these two will decrease what will increase the concept which will increase is metallic character m dot c is metallic character your melting point also will increase your atomic radii will increase Increase ionic radii also will increase to get the covalent radii. So these are the trends which will decrease, these are the trends which will increase. So, just remember, like this and go, the whole paragraph is over. Let's come and write the reason. So when I have to speak about the next one, ionization enthalpy. So, what is ionization enthalpy? It's amount of energy required to remove an electron from the outermost valence shell. Now, what did we say? As I go down the group like this, the ionization enthalpy is decreasing. The first ionization, second or third, it goes on decreasing. Why does it decrease? What is the concept? How are we relating? Always remember, you will relate ionization enthalpy with the size. As the size of an atom increases, right? So, first of all, before size, what should I speak? I have to speak about atomic uh, number. As atomic number is increasing, the number of shells are increasing. When the number of shells are increasing, the distance between the nucleus and the outermost shell also increases. When the distance increases, I can use less energy to pull out the electron. Okay, so many concepts together, let us write. So, ionization enthalpy, definition you remember nothing to, uh, they will not ask you what is ionization enthalpy, right. Now, I, when I move from top to bottom, we said it is decreasing. What is the reason? First important, as we do, go down the group from top to bottom, atomic number increases when atomic number increases number of shells also increases when number of shells increases distance from the nucleus increases when the distance from the nucleus increases it's simple isn't it less energy you can pull out the electron so ionization enthalpy decreases simple i can see with little energy i can pull out the electron let's come back and see next one electronegativity we said so what is electronegativity basically it is a tendency to drag the electrons isn't it so whenever whichever is there which is whichever is highly electronegative it will try to drag the electron like this suppose if i have m and x this is a halogen is highly electronegative it keeps dragging the electrons towards this the ability to drag the shared pair of electron now we said electronegativity decreases Decreases down the group. So, what is it depending? Now, simple, we will write decreasing. Let us write the reason. As I go down the group, what is increasing? Same story again. At 
atomic radius okay okay atomic number increasing when the atomic number is increasing atomic radii when i have to say automatically atomic radii increases when the atomic radii increases what will happen the distance between yes the metal the actual thing and with which it is forming bond suppose if uh, i have uh, like this like uh, this phosphorus now phosphorus and uh, let me take an halogen suppose if this is forming px3 compound px x and 3 done <laughs> then i have to see this compound now this is in the top layer when i go down together suppose if this is forming with halogen suppose this is forming with halogen when i go down the group what is happening the atomic number is increasing atomic radius is increasing with atomic radius is increasing the distance between this one and this one also it becomes farther becomes far when it is becoming far will it try will this try to drag the electron density towards itself that is what is electronegativity isn't it so as a size becomes farther the distance from here and this also becomes it becomes more when the size becomes more automatically the dragging capacity or the electronegativity decreases obviously it decreases right so let us write the same so i said many terms here let's write that atomic number increases atomic radius increases distance between uh, the atoms increases hence electronegativity or pulling or dragging capacity or pulling capacity pulling capacity decreases oh simple isn't it we have reason this let's come back and write this is over this is over let us write the third fourth one metallic character so what what is metallic character basically metallic character is nothing but ability to donate electrons metallic character metals are lustrous in nature because there is always excitation of electrons yes so metallic character we said it's going to increase we said first of all we have written increase okay how what is the reason metallic character depends again on size as atomic number increases atomic size increases when atomic size increases nuclear charge decreases when the nuclear charge decreases donation of electrons is easy when donation of electrons is easy so metallic character increases down the group and non metallic character decreases in other way right so metallic character increases means non metallic character decreases so let us write only that so that's not confusing so simple as that remember this concept this is also over now i have to write melting point so you very well know what is melting point so whenever we speak about melting point <coughs> it is said it increases down the group so what does it depend it depends basically about if i have to speak melting point concept let me take suppose i said it is increasing down the group right uh, no, done so when i speak about increasing down the group means nitrogen being nitrogen will have maximum melting point and sorry uh, did i say something wrong yeah it increases down the group means it will be more okay nitrogen will have minimum uh, mp and bismuth will have maximum mp what is the reason when i have to speak about uh your uh, nitrogen nitrogen ha is a smaller atom right smaller atom and it, it is diatomic in nature so it has a discrete discrete diatomic structure diatomic structure so i can use simple uh, this is little of melting point and you i i can easily melt that done so when i have to come back to bismuth so now what happens bismuth has what type of structure it has a layered structure one after that because the size is very big one after the other it has lot of layers present so when it has layered structure should i use more of melting point or less of melting point i have to use more melting point to melt that so that is also done i have explained this concept let us come back and speak about atomic and ionic radii so atomic and ionic radii when i have to speak i said atomic and ionic radii collectively your covalent radii i have to speak in terms of covalent radii when i go down the group it is increasing why is it increasing i said how to relate atomic number increases number of shells increases the number of shells increases automatically your atomic radii and ionic radii also increases down the group just see 
so they were this is 1 is 2 is 2 2 p 3 then here one more shell here see here it is again expanded here again it is expanded here again it is expanded so when it is expanding what will happen automatically the atomic radian ionic radian increases so in the exam remember one concept these two will decrease these three will increase and the reasons are here let us come back into some more questions on this